So I got this workflow that's working with uh, with a webhook uh, that is uh, currently a blog automation. Uh, it's grabbing uh, every uh, piece of content from our example website and using that uh, those blocks to generate uh, structure and uh, characteristics for those blocks that we use them to write a new block. This is uh, something I've built and use it every day. I've built a custom uh, UI to generate these articles, as you can see over here, but I got a different solution because we can automate this with a custom GPT. So I will show you in this video how you can do it. You can go to ChatGPT. I will post this link in the description of this video. Um, you can use this Action GPT to generate a schema for your webhook. So, as you can see, this is something I'm using for the webhook to call the webhook. Uh, help me create an OpenAI 3.1 schema in JSON so that I can give it to a custom GPT and it will send data to my webhook. Here's my webhook address. Uh, the fields that I want to send is a topic uh, as a string and this is what the schema is. Then what you will have to do is go to uh, your chat GPT, go to GPTs, press on create, uh, give it the name and the description, eventually press on new action, and mine is Dutch but uh, in your case it will be new in action, grab the schema you generated here and paste it in and you will get a webhook that it posts and this webhook uh, you can test it, but before you test it, you will have to or activate the workflow or uh, press listen for test events. And when you have done that, you can test it and there will be an output in here that the test has run and you will see something like this in your end at end workflow with uh, the body, so that's the topic, latest trend in automation tools for 2025. So that's something I just did. Um, Eventually, when everything is working, you can go to executions. Uh, in my case, I've just run one, and you will see that uh, it just outputted a blog post about, uh, yeah, this is a Dutch uh, topic, but uh, uh, in this case, I'm writing for a Dutch website. Uh, so here is the blog post, all ready to be entered on the website. Uh, what you could add is something like this. If the website is running on WordPress, you can even automate that to paste it, post it automatically on WordPress. If you have any questions about this workflow or creating a custom GPT to generate your articles with uh, your custom GPT, so for example, I can do something like this. Uh, And my workflow, I will have to confirm. And currently, I've set it up for response waiting for webhook. That's the final note. So what the response will be uh, is just a little uh, information about the so the meta description of the blog post that's written. So it's currently running. I will show it to you, as you can see in here. And this really powerful. So if you're not a developer and you don't want to create uh, custom UIs for your uh, NADN workflows, you can just use something like this because I can share this, this custom GPT with a customer and he can just use this to generate his own articles. So let's see if it's still running. Done the first part, so grab the style and grab the article structure. And there is the article, it just popped off. So let's see uh, if this is okay, nice. So I can just share this link and people can use it. So check out the YouTube channel if you would like uh, more content like this. Let me know uh, if you have any questions about the block automation or setting up custom GPTs. 
send a message or write to me in the comments section. Like the video and share it. Have a nice day.